Well, you can take a tour of one of the most historic homes in Sacramento this weekend. Architecture nerd uh, Julissa <laughs> Ortiz live there now. They made me read that. I am an architecture fan myself. <laughs> I am too. And let me tell you, I've learned so much just in the last few minutes about this home, um, which they've been so kind because I literally just walked in. We are in Poverty <laughs> Ridge this morning, neighborhood of Sacramento, right around 21st and you, right across from this, this guy right there, you can see. I am telling you, I swear I've driven by here a million times and really never paid attention at this beauty. You want to go inside? Come on. I'm like besties with the homeowners now. Come on in. Wait till you see this. It is absolutely beautiful. Take a little look at the entryway. I want to bring in, this is Luis with Sacramento Preservation. This is so cool. You guys do a annual historic home tour, and this is one of the homes that's featured on the tour this year. That's right. This is our 46th annual home yeah. tour, so we've only missed a few years out of our 50 years as an organization. Wow. I mean, and what a beauty to show off right now that you are back in person. I want to stop here because I just want to show you so much detail just in the entryway here as you look up the stairwell and, of course, along this wall, too. And you said a lot of these details kind of signified wealth back in the day. Sure, absolutely. Like one of the things you're looking at here is called Lynn Cresta. Uh -huh. And that was sort of like a cardboard that was soaked in linseed oil and then it was put through a press to put that actual pattern on it. And then it was applied to the wall. Sometimes it was actually in place of like a tooled leather. Oh. So it would actually be that, that type of uh, an embellishment to the house. This house built when? 1882. 1882. What's so cool is the family that lives here now, I love how they've mixed the modern with the old, right? As you take a look at this front room here, look at these doors, you guys, and the high ceilings. Take a look at that ceiling. Does it remind you of anything? Like maybe a wedding cake? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. And it was actually decorated sort of like how a wedding cake is oh done. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. All right. So you guys do this annual tour where you do kind of feature different neighborhoods in Sacramento. That's right. We, we like to feature one neighborhood so we get people out of their cars. Yeah. They can kind of walk around and go from house to house. We also do a supplemental tour. So as you're walking the neighborhood, you see lots of other um, places that you can stop and enjoy and read about the history yeah. that's in the brochure. That's fantastic. So you guys, you can be nosy. You have a right to be nosy and go into these homes. The other cool thing, look at this. Doesn't it look like granite? Watch. It's metal. They totally faked me out. That's another cool little deal, detail. That's right. That was often done. Yeah. The faux finishing was a big deal when these mm -hmm. houses were built. Oh, my gosh. And then one more deal. The floor. You'll, this is original flooring, right? And you were talking about the mahogany color there on the floor. That's right. Yeah, the mahogany inlay, you can see it striped all the way around the room. And in the corners, you can actually see a little bit more of the detail where mm -hmm. it would be the squares. Wow, very cool. All right, so again, the historic home tour taking place on Sunday. Tickets are still available, and you've got six homes featured on the tour. That's right. We have three in person and three videos. So we pivoted this year to a hybrid tour. Yeah. And for $30, you can see all six properties. And uh, it's Sunday from 10 to 4. Uh, the ticket booth at 22nd and U opens at 9.30. All right. And again, just an opportunity for people to really learn about the history in our own community. That's right. That's right. Okay. Get out and enjoy a great weekend. Fantastic. And Mother Nature is cooperating. Thank goodness, right? Okay, my friends. There you go. I'm just going to hide in one of the rooms and see if they notice. <laughs> <laughs> don't blame you. I won't tell if you don't. Do not blame you at all. <laughs> what a cool place.